Hello everyone, so this is my video lesson about ellipse and I am your teacher Mr. Mark Anthony Laroya and this is a Taglish version video. So this is the ellipse with center at HK. So katulad po ng ellipse with center at 0, 0, meron din tayong dalawang klase ng ellipse with center at HK. Yung isa, pahiga. Yung isa ay patayo. So, this is an ellipse with center at HK, meaning anywhere along the uh, Cartesian coordinate system except at the point of origin. So, in this case, we have an ellipse with major axis parallel to X axis. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung klase ng ellipse na pahiga. So, the equation or the standard equation is Quantity x minus h squared over a squared plus quantity y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. Ang nangyari lang dito, kung ikukumpara natin sa ellipse with center at 0, 0, yung nagkaroon tayo ng binomial sa numerator. From x squared, naging x minus h squared at yung y squared, naging y minus k squared. So, this is the ellipse with center at HK. So, sa example na ito, may kita po natin na meron tayong center at the first quadrant. So, this is our center at HK. So, again, katulad ng ellipse with center at 0, 0, same, same pa rin ang value ng ating A, B, and C. A is the distance from the center going to a vertex and then from center going to another vertex is also equal to a and then from center going to one of the foci let's say this one the distance is c and from this center going to this focus is also equal to c and then you also have this uh, this value yung length ng ating minor axis so from one end to another end sa gitna nila yung center, so from center up to one of the endpoints, that is equal to B, and this one is also equal to B. So, we can get the value of uh, C, that is C squared equals A squared minus B squared. Okay? So, doon natin madederive yung value ng C. So, kung kukunin natin ang coordinates ng vertex dito sa left side, since the distance from the center going to the vertex is A, and we are moving to the left, horizontally to the left, so from the coordinates of the center HK, we move a distance of A units to the left. So the coordinates now of our vertex to the left will be H minus A, K. So, yung h ang, nag ang nagkaroon ng minus a kasi siya yung x-coordinate na mababago na sosotrakan natin ng a. Kasi nga, the distance is a towards the left direction. From the center, going to the vertex number 2 to the right. So, instead na minus kanina, ngayon naman mag a tayo ng a units doon sa ating h. So, this will become now h plus a. Okay. Now, from the center towards the focus, so kung kukunin natin ang coordinates ng focus number 1, that is on the left, the distance from the center to the focus is C. So, the coordinates now of our focus to the left, or that is our F1, is H minus C, K. So, we subtract C kasi we're moving towards the left direction, going to the focus. And then the coordinates of our focus on the right side. So from center to the focus, that is C. So mag tayo kasi to the right. So H plus C, K. And then going to the points doon sa ating minor axis, yung points of interse intersection ng minor axis and the ellipse. Kung kukunin natin yung intersection na itong point na ito na nasa taas ng center, we have H K plus B. So, nag-add tayo ng B sa K kasi we are moving vertically. So, Y coordinate ng center natin ang mababago at madadagdagan ng B. Plus B kasi pataas, positive. 
Okay? And then, dito naman sa baba, we have H, K minus B. Minus B kasi pababa. This is now the standard equation of our ellipse with center at H, K, wherein the major axis is parallel to Y axis, quantity X minus H squared over B squared, plus Y minus K squared over A squared equals 1. So, ang mangyayari naman ngayon, patayo ang ating ellipse. From the center, that is HK, going to our vertex dito sa taas, the movement is vertically upward. So, ang magbabago ay yung Y coordinate ng ating center and that is your K. Since the distance from the center to the vertex is A, therefore, we add A units to the K. That is why it becomes now H, K plus A, yung coordinates ng ating vertex sa taas. At sa baba naman, dahil sa pababa siya, from the center, going to this vertex, it will now become H, K minus A. And still, the distance from the center to the focus is C, and still going up and down tayo, so the focus now will be F1, yung nasa taas na focus is H, K plus C. So, C naman yung dinagdag natin kasi yun ang distance ng center to focus. And going to this focus downward from the center, that will become now H, K minus C. Let us now solve some examples involving ellipse with center at H, K. Determine the standard equation of an ellipse with a vertical major axis of 12 units, a minor axis of 6 units, and the center is at 2, 4. So, ang given dito is, yung major axis daw is 12 units. So, pag sinabi natin yun ay major axis, ibig sabihin, yun ay length ng uh, distance between the points of intersection ng major axis at ng ellipse natin. So, in short, yung points of intersection ng ating major axis at ng ellipse ay yung dalawa nating vertices. So, from one vertex to another vertex, the distance is 12 units. Dahil sa gitna nila, nandun ang center, ibig sabihin, the value of 12 units is equal to 2A. Because from center to vertex, that is A. Dahil we have vertex to vertex ang distance na 12 units, ibig sabihin, 2A siya, dalawang value ng A. Therefore, the distance from the center going to the unit at uh, going to the vertex, therefore, is 6 units. So, dinibide lang natin yung 12 units. So, naging 6 units ang value ng A. That is the distance from the center to the vertex. Kung ang minor axis naman natin ay 6 units, that means half of it is the distance from the center going to the one end, point, end points of the minor axis or the point of intersection between the minor axis and the ellipse. So, that is 2B. So, ang gitna niya from center going to one of the end points is half of 2B. So, B natin will be equal to 3 Unit. So, we have now the values of A and B. So, all we have to do is to simply substitute the values of A and B. And given that the center is 2, 4, that means our H is 2 and our K is 4. So, we substitute lang natin X minus H. So, this become X minus 2 squared over B squared plus y minus k, so this becomes y minus 4 squared over a squared. Okay. Now, paano nating malalaman na ganito ang gagamitin nating standard equation? Kasi, sabi sa ating problem, with a vertical major axis. So, ibig sabihin, patayo ang ating ellipse. Kaya, ginamit nating equation ay yung ellipse with a vertical major axis. So, substitute lang natin yung values ng A and B. We will be having x minus 2 squared over 3 squared plus y minus 4 squared over 6 squared equals 1. Pinalitan lang natin yung B 
ng value niya na 3 at yung a ng 6. So, simplifying, this will be now our standard equation. x minus 2 squared over 9 plus y minus 4 squared over 36 equals 1. So, this is the standard equation of our ellipse with vertical major axis. So, this is the graph of our ellipse. The center is at 2, 4. This distance from the center going to one of the vertex, vertices is 6 units. And the distance from the center going to one of the point of, points of intersection ng minor and the curve, minor axis and the curve is 3 units. Ito. The two endpoints of the major axis of an ellipse are 0, 4, and 0, negative 10. If the length of the minor axis is 8, determine the standard equation of the ellipse. Draw the graph. So, sabi dito, yung major axis natin, ang two endpoints niya ay 0, 4, and 0, negative 10. So, the movement from one point to another point is vertical. So, that means our major axis is vertical parallel to y-axis. Kaya, ang graph natin, ang ellipse natin ngayon ay patayo. If the length of the minor axis is 8, determine the standard equation of the ellipse. So, itong dalawang endpoints ng ating major axis ay actually, these are the vertices of our ellipse. So, using the four distance formula or finding the midpoint of two points, okay, makukuha natin na yung center natin is at 0, 3. And if you're going to graph, makikita natin na ang midpoint ng 0, negative 10 and 0, 4 ay 0, 3. 0, negative 3. So, this will be our center. So, therefore, our H is 0, our K is negative 3. So, from the center, going to one of the vertices, either going to 0, negative 10 or 0, 4, the distance is 7 units. So, that will be the value of our A from center going to one of the vertices. So, H is 0, K is negative 3. So, if the minor axis is 8 units, therefore, half of it is our B, that is 4 units. So, we already have the values of A, B, H, and K. So, all you... All we have to do is to use the formula or the standard equation of the ellipse with center at HK wherein the vertical at uh, the major axis is vertical or parallel to Y axis. So all we have to do is to substitute the values of H, K, A, and B to our given standard equation. We will be having X squared over 16 plus y plus 3 squared over 49 plus 1. So, this is the graph of our ellipse. Thank you very much for watching and listening to this video lesson. I hope may natutunan kayong bago about ellipse, this time with center at HK. See you again next time.